Tonight, a mystery at a local cemetery after some fresh graves were disturbed. ABC Action News reporter Michael Poluska is live at the cemetery tonight with one working theory, Michael. Jameson, a witness told us that he was out here at this cemetery just looking for burial plots at the Adams Rogers Cemetery. He started to smell something really, really bad. Then he said he looked down and he saw what he thought was a body bag getting pulled out of a fresh grave. Nine plastic crosses mark the spot where funeral director Alan Moore recently buried indigent veterans. One grave shows signs where something dug in the sand trying to reach the body. Moore says a rival funeral home accused him of not burying the bodies deep enough, making it easy for coyotes or other animals to disturb them. But Moore told us over the phone the bodies are five feet down in bags encased in fiber boards. Now he's placing concrete vaults on top for extra protection. There is no rules because nobody owns it. Eloise Bacon says her mom, husband, and other family members are buried in the Adams and Rogers Cemetery. For more than two decades, she was the chairwoman of Manatee County's Neglected Cemetery Task Force. She says animals run wild, desecrating graves there, and people are known to party there. That was a human being, and that's a disgrace to see something like that. Manatee County says they replaced one vault damaged by Hurricane Irma, but have not had any reports of animals digging out bodies. Bacon says the county still needs to do more. I would like to see that somebody was appointed to be over it permanently. And according to the attorney general's office, there is no legal requirement for how someone is buried. A casket is not required, a metal one or a wood one. We're asking the state to look into this as well to see if any violations were made in the cemetery. We're live here in Bradenton tonight, Manatee County. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.